Hello everyone. I am with a simple tutorial. It's a very basic tutorial. And this time I have some problem when I opening the Fluent. And we have the error that model information is incompatible with the incoming mesh. So up to the mesh says this is okay. Perfectly fine. But as soon as I open the setup, setup cell here for the Fluent, which is uh, open here, I can see these warnings and the errors that we have the incompatible zones. So it was, it is happening because I created some zones in the previous mesh and uh, also I changed the, the geometry is same but the way I am dealing with the geometry is changed in the space claim as well. And uh, when I made the mesh and also defined the different boundary conditions and after meshing I'm getting this error. So the solution is very simple. And first, let me show you. This is a geometry. This geometry is the shell and tube type of heat exchanger. It's a, you can say this one as a as a counter flow double pipe heat exchanger because only one pipe is is going through the center of the shell. And uh, there are no there are no multiple passes. At least should, there should be the two passes. And when you call this one as the shell and tube type of heat exchanger. So right now you can see this is a mesh file. And there are three zones. One is shell, second is the tube, and third one is the, this uh, solid zone. And from this zone, the heat will conduct from the shell, either from shell or from tube to the uh, these two directions. So depending on the which uh, zone will have the hot fluid and which one has the cold fluid, so heat will flow from the high temperature to the low temperature. But right now the problem is that we are getting this error. And solution is very simple. So just close down the Fluent application here, and then from Workbench and also close uh, access meshing because might do we get the error for the licensing as well because we cannot open the multiple applications. And solution is very simple. Right click on the setup cell here, which is the cell B4, and simply click on Reset. Click on OK. And now you can see these uh, double arrows in the circular fashion. Now double click on setup and these all errors will go away. And you can choose a number of processors. Right now I have the four processors in my computer so I can choose up to maximum up to the four. And now you can see that uh, we are able to read the mesh file very smoothly into Fluent and uh, there are no more errors in the Fluent application. So it's a very simple solution and uh, you can see the mesh file and this is a counter flow so the inlet for the tube is from this side and the inlet for the shell side is from this, this side which is over here and uh, if I display uh, the boundary conditions you can see them. This is the, my shell inlet and I can display them also. So shell inlet is uh, over here and tube inlet is on the other side. And similarly I can display the outlet zones which are here and then the wall zones. And we have some interfaces as well. And uh, this is the close view of the this model and, and mesh. And this is the shell inlet and uh, this is the tube inlet which is over here. And uh, shell inlet is on the upper side. And you can also change the colors of uh, these surfaces randomly. So just click on the color by ID that is from the colors uh, option in the mesh display. And uh, reset colors and display. And you can also change the view from the faces to only the mesh display in this way. And also we have the, these interfaces which are the walls from inside from where the heat will conduct to the other sides. You can display them also. And these two zones are the outlet zones which are for the shell side is on this side. You can see if I display the faces. And this is the over here.
All right, so this is all about the, the basic error we get in the workbench while opening the fluent when we change the mesh or the geometry. And then I added some extra tricks and tricks how to display the mesh, how to change the display. Thank you for watching the video.